Hello, everybody. It's Wode again, and welcome to another episode of me talking to myself at my computer. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a quick overview, maybe not quick, uh, of Google Slides. Not slides, sheets. We're definitely doing sheets, not slides. If you're here for slides, it's another video. Anyways, um, we're going to start out here. There's a couple different ways, a bunch of different ways that, that you can start off uh, with Google Sheets. Um, as usual, you know you can you can go to the um, the Sheets page uh, by clicking on the waffle there. You can you can go to Sheets.google.com. My favorite way to do it though uh, is always just to keep things neat and tidy and organized. I always start from Google Drive, um, so that's where I'm at right now. Drive.google.com. Logged into my account, um, and so. Uh, I want to create a new sheet that we can play with. Um, so you navigate to wherever you would like for that file to be saved uh, in Google Drive. I've got a, a folder already called Google Sheets, so that sounds good enough for me. Um, click New, uh, and then go to uh, Sheets. Um, you can go get templates and, and blank spreadsheets and all that stuff here. Another way you can do that, right click uh, anywhere in the white space here. Uh, and also click Sheets. It's going to bring up the same thing. Uh, that's the way I usually do it, so that's the way I'll do it right now. Uh, click in Google Sheets, and we'll get uh, off to the races. Give that a second to load up. Taking longer than I would like for it to. Hello, Google. There we go. All right, so uh, the first step that you're going to do, well, it, I thought it was going to go. There we go. Uh, you're going to notice that it's untitled, right? There's no title to this spreadsheet. So um, that's always the first thing that I do uh, with any Google Doc or anything is I go ahead and um, give it a name. That way, if um, I accidentally close it or something or I need to find it, I can search for it, easily find it. So we'll call this, um, oops, class roster. There we go. So we got a sheet here. Um, notice it changed there. Class roster, we're saved or saving right there. Um, this is a key to any Google Doc that you use. Um, save to drive, right? Last edit was seconds ago. This is this means that that it has saved the most recent version. With every keystroke you make in Drive uh, or in, in Google Docs, uh, it is saved. In, in this case, um, as soon as you navigate away from a cell um, in, in the spreadsheet, uh, that's when it saves it. So I guess uh, some important thing to do real quick is to get some kind of um, uh, vocabulary out of the way. So what we have here, even though it's called Google Sheets with an S, Google Sheets, um, this, uh, what we're looking at here is technically a workbook, right? And the reason that it's called a workbook is because we can add additional sheets along the way, right? So together, all of this is a workbook. These tabs down here are the individual sheets. And I think that we, you know, we should all get on the same page with that. Uh, some people struggle with that. They just, you know, when they open up Google Sheets, um, they they assume that 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 is a spreadsheet, which which it is and it isn't. Um, a workbook contains spreadsheets, and that's kind of the the vocabulary that we have there with that. So, um, what I'm going to do here, uh, this is my workflow. You may do things differently. Um, this is the spreadsheet. Uh, or the, the workbook, I'm going to name the spreadsheets um, right off the bat. I just like to name things immediately. So I'm going to rename it and call this, just call it the same thing, roster, whatever you're going to do. This is your choice. All right, okay, things are named. So let's take a look around. Um, if you're familiar with Excel, this is going to be pretty um, pretty familiar to you. Uh, if you're not, then then this is a spreadsheet. So um, other vocabulary that we need to get down is is columns and rows, right? And columns and rows uh, and cells. Um, so obviously these are all columns, right? Uh, and these are all uh, rows, right? And the intersection of the two are the cells, right? And those all have names, different addresses, right? If we city and state, that kind of thing, right? Um, so this one here, for example, is A1. The letter is always first, so it's A1. If we click over here, this is H11, right? These are the addresses the uh, of the cell. The, and, and so when you get into formulas and doing all kinds of fancy stuff later, um, you're going to be referencing the, those selections, those cells. So that's uh, important to know, too. So we'll scroll down through here um, and look at the menu options. File. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these things, but it, I highly recommend as you're playing around that you kind of look around at uh, the options in here. 
different different ways you can download it as PDFs, um, make it available offline. So if you're going to not have internet actually activity or access, um, but you're going to need to get to it, you you need to do that. Um, make shortcuts in Drive. You can make another copy. All that kind of stuff. Uh, edit. These are where you can you know cut copy paste. I highly recommend you learn these shortcuts because those are handy. Undo, redo, delete cells, notes, all that stuff. So um, view. So freeze is an interesting thing. A lot of some people don't know about freeze, but freeze is super handy. Um, essentially, what this is going to do if you you can freeze rows and freeze columns. Um, if this is going to be a header row and this is going to be a whole bunch of data underneath it, wouldn't it be nice to be able, when you scroll, to have that header row stay at the top so you, you always know what you're looking at? So a couple ways you can do that. This is the um, this is not the way I usually do it, but I'll show you. You can freeze um, the first row, right? And so now that is locked in place. Another way you can do that, if you can wait and if, if you look at the gray lines right here, if you grab, a, if you wait till it turns into a hand, you can pull that up and down. That's the way I like to do it. Um, and that'll lock, that'll freeze the rows to the top. And you can do that, the same thing with, um, columns, which is cool. Um, so you can, uh, turn off and on the grid lines, however you like that. Um, you can protect ranges. So say you want to share this with somebody, but you don't want them to be able to maybe update the header row. You can protect those ranges, um, turn off and on formula bars, zoom, all that kind of stuff. Uh, insert. This is where cool start stuff starts to happen. Um, add rows, columns. You can shift things around. Add charts, pictures, forms, uh, all kinds of stuff. Functions. Th this is yeah. There you go. Um, format. This is the way that you change the way things look um, within there. Uh, themes are new. I didn't know about that. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, I'm about to dig into that a little bit. Um, so that's format data. This is where you can start doing some cool filtering stuff. Um, one of my favorite features, uh, and I'll have to do another video where I kind of show you that, or, or maybe we can build something here in just a second um, to, to filter through, but that's kind of cool. Um, group things together. Yeah, it's super neat. Um, tools. This So spell check, you have to kind of do, not manually, but um, when you're done, you might highlight all of the data and because uh, you're not going to get the real time red squiggly line if you spell things wrong like I do. Um, so you're going to want to go to tools, um, highlight the data of tools, spelling, spell check, uh, and then that'll make sure that you got everything spelled right. Uh, you just got to need to remember to do that. Uh, accessibility settings, super important here, too. So you can um, support screen readers, um, magnifying tools for people who have vision or hearing disabilities, um, whatever. So. Let's see. That's pretty much the basics of it. Add-ons, boy, there's a lot you can do with add-ons. That's a whole other video. But add-ons are additional applications, different functions that you can add to uh, sheets. And boy, there's some powerful stuff in there. Uh, as always, if you get stumped, um, here's the help menu, uh, function list. So when you finally get into the point where you're writing formulas and you need to know what different things are uh, and how to write it, that, that's going to be helpful to you. Keyboard shortcuts, all that stuff. So um, <clears throat> that's pretty much the overview of kind of the menu stuff. Um, let's see. Let's build something here. So let's say we're going to make this class roster here, and we're going to do first name. We'll make a header row. Last name. Let's say homeroom. I don't know. Um, what else? Email address. I don't know. We're making a, a class roster here. Um, ooh, let's see. I'm trying to think of the. There's a way to fix that because I didn't I didn't capitalize it, but I, I will, we'll leave it there. All right, so we want to uh, freeze that row. Maybe we want to freeze this row too. All right, so we'll do. I don't know, Karen Smith, Tom or Tim. Okay, Tim uh, Goodman. Uh, I don't know. John, something else, right? So you're going to notice um, uh, some stuff here in the cells. Um, I don't know, Carter. All right, so th this is essentially what we're doing with, with sheets. Um, there's nothing super fancy to that. That's just data entry. There's nothing cool about that. Um, the cool stuff starts happening when you want to look things up. 
or, um, and that's a whole nother video. We can't, we can't do that in an introduction thing, but, um, I just kind of wanted to show you how these sheets work. Um, and kind of some of the vocabulary that we need to kind of get on board with. Um, now you can, let's do comments. All right, let's select a cell here real quick. I'm gonna show you how to do a comment, right? A um, couple ways you can do that. I'm all about the right click and then find it, but there is there are other ways. You can you can click the oh that's explore. Never mind, I thought that was comment, um, comment or whatever. And then you can you can tag people in this if you I don't know if you knew that or not. Um, so if I wanted somebody to get an email notification, uh, I would put plus their email address and then I would say, can you check this? All right, uh, and then I will hit comment. I can assign it to them. I'll hit a comment. It's going to say, hey, wait a minute. This document is not shared with this person. Would you like to share it uh, with comment rights? Sure. Let's do that. So comment rights. Boom. Now, if I go over to my other email address, oops, I just got a notification on my phone. There it is. Nope. All mail. Hmm. Shared with me. I've got a folder. Nope. All right. Well, let's go to Drive. For some reason, that's not showing up in there. Well, the other place I can get to it is here. Class roster. There it is. So now I've got comment rights. I can go to that and I can reply to this comment. Yes, it is correct and reply now if i go back to my other account it's already there right so i can at now as the person who asked that i can check that resolve it it's gone there's that's kind of cool you can also see that boom i'm over there um so that's cool um so that's pretty much a good overview of of what sheets will, uh, a basic overview of how to do things with sheets um highly encourage you to check out some other videos we'll be doing i'll be doing those um and adding, you know, kind of specific tasks to the checklist. Um, but if you have any questions or you, you have your stump somewhere and you need some help, you can get a hold of me at wodajr at collins-cc.edu. Uh, that's a Gmail or Google chat. You can also find me on Twitter. I'm at Mr. Woda. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and uh, get a hold of me if you need something. Thanks.